All right, just a quick little tutorial today on how to set up your tabs for your citations uh, for your annotated bibliography, and we're going to be working in both Microsoft Word and OpenOffice. The process is exactly the same, but this way you can see it no matter which program you're using. So first you'll see here that we have our citation. Right? This is MLA format. And our annotation, which is oh so eloquent. Hopefully you'll come up with something better than I did. But one of the problems is, if we have a bunch of these in a row, it starts to look, let's see if I can grab this here, something like this. And that's not going to go over so well, because it's going to look like one big chunk of text. So we need to find a way to set this apart, so that people can scan down here and easily find our author names. So what we're going to do is, I'm just going to do this with select all, so it will affect all of them. But really you can look at any one of them to find what this does. And up here, you'll see that we have a way to move these little arrows. If you click down at the bottom, you'll see oh, that one said left indent, hanging indent, and first line indent. So I'm just going to drag all of them over to the half inch mark and you'll see that everything moves along with it. Now that's all well and good, but that still gives us a block of text. So what I'm going to do next is move up to the top triangle, first line indent, and move that one, click and drag that one, back to the start. And now you can see that all following lines of our uh, annotations and our citations stay indented, but our first line is still kicked out to the side. What this does is allow any reader to look at this, scan quickly down, and pick out an author that they're interested in or see who wrote what book, and it's really easy to find the information this way. So, next up, open office. You'll see we've got the exact same thing here. Let me bold this so that it stands out from the rest of the annotation. And then I'm just going to move up. I'm going to do the exact same thing. Move both of these over about half an inch. And then click the top one and move that back. And you can see now it's set up just like the other one. And if I then highlight this, copy it, as I add additional citations, you'll see that they all automatically fit into this same structure. So there you go.